Well hello and welcome to this tutorial in the series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. If you're a new user to TradeStation one of the things that you may or may not have come across is importing programs into your implementation of TradeStation. So I just wanted to go over this, uh, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, we start off with an ELD and I'm using an ELD of one of the programs that uh, I have on my site which is Markplex and incidentally if you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and join. So uh, you, when you save an ELD you need to know where you've saved it, it could be in an email or it could be somewhere on your disk. Uh, in this particular case I've got it stored on my disk so what I'm going to do is just double click on that and if TradeStation is already open it will just go in and begin the importing process. If TradeStation is not open then it will open TradeStation or it should open TradeStation and it will ask for your username and password. You'll then get a screen uh, like this one here and you just click next. Now what you're probably going to find at least in uh, the case of my programs is there will be uh, a program and then possibly some functions. Now some functions are just standard TradeStation functions and what I would suggest is when you click um, finish there it's going to say confirm replacement. I would just say no to all because um, all I'm doing is using trade station functions so there's no real reason to replace them so I'm just going to say no to all and uh, it's just going to there go and import the study. So that is now imported. Uh, incidentally while you're going through that process if you just go back let's just do it again just so I can show you but um, you want to remember the name of the actual program which may not be uh, the na same name as the ELD so just move this out of the way and uh, just say next and if you see what I mean here the program in this particular case the show me study is underscore zigzag fib conf so just make a note of that and uh, we're gonna we're gonna use that information in a second so the next thing is having done that we're gonna open up a new window and uh, just gonna put this onto a chart so let's just uh, do chart analysis and um, we should see a e-mini chart coming up. Oh no, we're not. We're seeing a, a British pound dollar. I was going to make that into uh, e-mini just for the sake of this demonstration. And um, I'm going to do that by pressing uh, or typing in at ES. And uh, let me just check how many days back we've got here. Um, it's got five days back. That controls how much data going back you have. Incidentally, if you did ever have a problem with a program, then I would suggest just opening up TradeStation just with a simple chart and then closing, not having open any other indicators or strategies or whatever that you're, uh, that you're using just to make sure you can isolate what the problem is. So in this particular case, what we're going to now do is insert a show me, click this, and then I happen to know that the name of the show me we want to install is zigzag fib conf so I'm just going to click on that and press OK. Now you can see that it's been applied um, in, in this particular case what I would then need to do is go format analysis techniques and then just double click on this and then just change these settings to get what we want and I happen to know that in this particular case if I change this to say 0.5 then we're going to see uh, a lot more lines on the chart. You can see here the zigzags and then you can see here the uh, the, um, the confluence lines as well. Anyway, I uh, hope that's uh, useful. Thank you very much. Again, please join the email list if you're not already part of it. And uh, I'll be happy to let you know when I create new programs or tutorials. Thank you.